was good y'all Ritz Sosa back in the building with another banger and as y'all can see man by the looks of the title and the screen today I'm gonna be bringing y'all the first ever mid-range facilitator build but I'm gonna be bringing y'all two different versions two different heights two different badge counts and as well as with both of them having over 100 badges y'all as you can see one of them is going to be able to get the glass cleaning the other is going to be a little bit different but don't even worry about that because i got y'all with both mates now before we get any further man i just gotta say thank god for giving me this opportunity that we are gonna have together to be sharing this moment in time i also want y'all to know that i thank y'all and appreciate y'all as well but man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Anybody looking to join the RGF Rich Gang family, go ahead and turn on post notifications, but also go ahead and hit that like button, y'all. Can we go ahead and get 50 likes on this banger? Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And now, let's go ahead and get into the making of the first version of this build. So, of course, you want to go ahead and put it under the small forward position. Height, 6'7", weight, 180, and then ask for the wingspan. We're actually going to go ahead and put it to 7'1", y'all. So this is actually what the first setup of the first build is going to be looking like. When it comes down to the finishing, we're going to be getting 25 badges. But as you can see also, when it comes down to the actual badges that we unlock, we get some really solid ones. Now, when it comes down to the shooting, we're going to get 27 shooting badges. So again, this version is much different from the second one that i'm going to be showing y'all especially with that height taking into account now with the playmaking side of things right here we get 27 badges as well so if i were you i would just go ahead and recommend that you make both of these and then at the end decide which one y'all want to make first now here is what the defense is looking like for this version as well we get 22 badges not bad at all and already as you can see over 100 badges in all we also get the plus four from college so do not worry about that now when it comes down to the physicals these of course are going to be a little bit different just because of the height difference now let's go ahead and get into the 6 8 version as you can see small forward the same exact thing height 6 8 when it comes down to the weight with the lowest and then when it comes down to the wingspan we're actually going with 7 6 now right here we also get 25 finishing badges so when it comes down to this side of the ball i'm telling you get it look very similar but as you can see when it comes down to the shooting playmaking and defensive side of the ball this is where things really change up so as you can see right here we get 23 shooting badges for the playmaking we're actually going to be able to get 24 but then when it comes down to the defensive end for this 6-8 version, I believe it's because of the wingspan, but we're actually able to get more and better defensive badges all around when it comes down to this version. So if you're looking for more defense, I would recommend going with this version, the second one, 6-8. But if you want to go ahead and more a little bit heavy on the offensive side, I would go with the 6 seven version the first one that i showed y'all now just remember you can always make both of these but as you can see with this one when it comes down to the takeovers we're actually going to be able to get the glass cleaning so again it really just comes down to how you see yourself using this build as well when it comes down to the takeovers but also when it comes down to the breakdown of the stats so we get playmaking, shot creating, slashing, and also the glass cleaning like I had just said. If you want to go ahead and make the other version of this build, you definitely can do so. It really doesn't matter as long as you like which one you are making more. That is what all you should care about. Now, just remember, these can be used both in any type of game mode. So if you want to go ahead and check out the 6-7 version, when it comes down to the takeovers, I most definitely got y'all on that as well. So, the first thing that you got to go ahead and take into account, we're still going to be able to get the slashing, shot creating, playmaking, but then we get the post scoring y'all so both of these are some really good versions that you're going to be able to make one of them is more heavy on the offensive side the other one more heavy on the defensive side like i said more defense 6-8 version 
more offense, six, seven. And honestly, that's just my opinion. If you feel like it's otherwise, go ahead and just pick based off your preference. But as you can see with these takeovers, well, I would highly recommend choosing. For my liking, honestly, I can say ankle breaking shots for the shot creating takeover is going to be a real game changer, especially when it comes down to having to guard you up front. Now for the second takeover, this is really just based off of preference. I would say that honestly, power back down moves is gonna be a really nice takeover to pick. But also if you wanna go with finishing moves, for the slashing you definitely can do that i'm gonna go with the post scoring and as y'all can see we have made the first ever mid-range facilitator build demar derozan comparison i really like that i'm gonna go ahead and use it for the thumbnail but now let's go ahead and check out what this build is gonna be looking like once you're running with teammates that are gonna be having the badges hall of fame defensive leader as well as hall of fame floor general now you're also going to go ahead and buy boost, which is another plus four. So plus eight in total when it comes down to every single stat. But when it comes down to the shooting, because of the takeovers we picked, plus 10 for the shot creating, so plus 10 to our shooting. But remember, we also picked the post scoring, so a plus 10 to our post scoring or our finishing. Now, let's go ahead and add up the numbers. Pretty much, when it comes down to the close shot, this has the potential to be able to get into the 90s. When it comes down to the driving layup, driving dunk, as well as our post control, all of these are going to be 99 in takeover. When it comes down to the shooting, mid-range and the three-pointer are also in takeover, going to be at 99. So just remember, when it comes down to the playmaking as well as the defensive side of the ball, both of these are still going to get a plus 8. So your ball handle will be in the 90s. Perimeter defense going to be in 89. But when it comes down to the block, this will be in the 90s. And also, when it comes down to the offensive rebound, this will go in the 80s. And the defensive rebound will go into the 90s. But now, let's go ahead and check out the badge count that we're going to be running with when it comes down to the finishing. First, for me, I'm going to go with Fearless Finisher on Silver. That really helps out with some layup animations that you get on this game. And also, an important badge that you must add in. Limitless takeoff on the highest tier. Also, because we do get it, I'm going to go with Back Down Punisher and Hall of Fame, Silver Posterizer, and then Gold Slithery Finisher. Now, the last badge I'm running with, Unstrippable on Gold, and that's pretty much what the setup is going to be looking like when it comes down to the finishing. Let's go ahead and get into the shooting now. I'm going to start it off with Blinders on Gold as well as Hot Zone Hunter. Now, we still have 18 badges to work with, so I'm going to go ahead and add in Sniper on Hall of Fame. 12 more from here, so I'm also going to go ahead and throw in Corner Specialist on Gold. Silver, Catch and Shoot. Also, Dead Eye on Silver. Bronze Green Machine. And then for the very last badge, I'm going to go ahead and add in Volume Shooter on Bronze. Now, if you feel like changing anything of the setup that I'm showing y'all, you definitely can do that. But just remember... As long as you're running with a setup that you like more than I'm showing y'all, that is the goal. Just remember, everybody has their own preferences when it comes down to certain badges. So just because you change it up from what I'm doing does not mean that you're doing anything wrong. Everything's going to work out as long as you are comfortable with it. But let's go ahead and get into the playmaking. As you can see right here, I'm going to go with Silver Hyperdrive, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, then also Gold Hands for Days. Now... I'm also going to go ahead and add in Triple Threat Juke on Gold. Nine more remaining badges. So this really comes down to how you see yourself using this build. But for me, I would say that Tie Handles on Gold is going to be a really good one. And also, Stop and Go. For the very last badge, I'm going to say Bullet Passer or Bailout. It just comes down to which game modes you're going to be running more importantly. But now, let's go ahead and get into the defense. I'm going to go with Silver Clamps as well as bronze interceptor from there i'm going with rebound chaser on silver rim protector gold intimidator and then gold chase down artist now we got four more remaining badges so if you want to for one setup you can end it off with pogo stick on gold or you can go ahead and take that off when it comes down to pogo stick and even drop off interceptor and then if you want to you can even drop down your chase of an artist from gold to silver so that way you're going to be able to add in a hall of fame badge whether it be hustler 
or pogo stick y'all again this is just another setup that you can go with but it just really matters on which kind of setup that you would prefer running for me i would say this is a solid lineup when it comes down to the finishing badges we get 25 shooting 27 playmaking 27 and then when it comes down to the defense we also get 22 and plus we get the plus four from college so honestly that puts this badge at over 100 badges for this kind of build again man i just gotta say thank god for giving me this opportunity and everybody that decided to click on today's video i just want you to know that i appreciate y'all i love y'all and i thank y'all with all that i have to say but man i got more bangers dropping this week so man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new anybody looking to join the rich gang family rgf go ahead and turn on post notifications but also hit that like button y'all go ahead and share this banger with your family and friends and last but not least with all that being said i got one last thing to say thank god and rich out